early years in my life, I did do a lot of gang violence in our area because I do live in in South Central LA. Well, I did live in South Central LA. I lived in, it used to be consistent. You know, it was like every other night, you know, somebody got shot or something. Or, or we're out of school or something like that. So, yeah. um, a lot better times nowadays. And I think that was why. I kind of came out with this woman here with the bottom of is the appreciation so as you were sharing the appreciation a for sunshine um having that in your your neighborhood at one point and kind of missing that now that y'all going through these different weather changes but of what it used to be in the neighborhood like i said you can take it for granted walking down the street and now like saying we can do that um more freely because it was just like the next car that came out was just this whole anxiety um kind of situation i'm like dad can i go out can i can i sit next to the window without worrying about a, a bullet coming through um the window and, and shooting me kind of thing so it looks it like says on your title that you're the founder of a second chance what is that about uh so second chance is originally um a, a youtube show that i started mm-hmm. um and the original thought process of this show was going to be dedicated to uh, interviewing individuals who have dealt with uh, transplants because um, I am a transplant, kidney transplant recipient um, and so that's where so you know I asked myself you know what am I trying to accomplish with this show mm. um, what is going to be a purpose of this show and every answer kept coming out to being a second chance you know, people deserve a second chance. A lot of people get second chances, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and then that's what made me kind of veer off into not just staying with the transplant space, but that everybody deserves or can have a second chance at life, yeah. um, no matter what position that they're in. A second chance and people being able to move over um, move up and just share their story um you're falling right in line with that then one well, another one that had came out was the woman here holding the heart now remind me um because we were scheduled to do this show tomorrow right and um we were like hey you know like are you doing something with your heart yeah um i'm having an open heart surgery on thursday um, but I get admitted tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's the woman holding um, the heart. Cause I was like, wow. So the encouraging word that came um, before your surgery and just basically what you literally said, um, Philip was the next divine creature that came out was Master Jesus. And it says at the bottom of this card, you are on the path of light, love and forgiveness. Father healing is possible at this time. So knowing that you're going to have the surgery and all the things that you're going through your life is healing. And then when you're saying, I don't know, next card that came out here was the scripture that wanted to encourage you says, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. So encourage.